Pavlov associated them. Associate means to put together. And it was Pavlov who did that. The interesting thing is that having associated <laughs> the bell with the food, the dog begins to respond to the bell. Now that is not association by the dog. It's associated by Pavlov. The same thing is true of concept formation. Um, the various uh, Ernstein's experiment, very, very fascinating experiment. You show a pigeon hundreds of slides, in some of which there are people, and in others not. And in a surprising short time, the pigeons will respond in one way to, uh, to a slide with a person in it, and another way to, to a slide without. Now, it's a mistake to say, though, I think, that the pigeon has acquired the concept of person. The concept is in the apparatus. The concept was formed when you reinforced responses to slides with people and extinguished responses with, to slides without people. You, you formed the concept. The remarkable thing is that pigeons can respond in that different way, but without having a concept in the head to help them. Well, is that true of people as well then? In, in what sense? When should we apply the word concept? When, when can we say, if ever, mm -hmm. that people have concepts?